Hey there everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today I wanna to take you through a quick, low impact workout that could be great for you if you're dealing with some back issues. So let's walk and talk about what we're gonna to do today here. A couple things I wanna just mention right off the bat. Please be sure that if you have a back injury or condition that you are following your doctor's or your physical therapist's recommendation. And keep in mind that not all exercises are suitable for everyone. Bad back is a huge general term, so you need to make sure that you're doing what's best for your back. And modify as we go if you need to skip a move that doesn't work for you do what you need to do okay so let's walk it out make sure your posture is really tall especially when we have back pain posture is huge so a lot of back pain is caused by poor posture right and this rounding forward this flexion of the spine that we all do all day long we're all guilty of it so as we warm up here really focus on opening across your chest pulling your shoulder blades back and together, and give your spine support by drawing your abs in towards your back. Make sure you can still breathe comfortably though, okay? So we're just walking it out. You'll notice I have a little step beside me. We're gonna use it just for a few moves during this workout. If you don't have a step, no worries. You can sub in even just a stair step, or you can just step in place. You don't have to step up either, so that's an optional piece of equipment. If you have it on hand, great. If you don't, no worries, you can still do this workout with me. So we're gonna move into using the arms a little more to help raise the heart rate a little, burn some more calories, but also keep the back nice and safe. So tall posture, we're just gonna start to reach your arms up and down and up and down. So keeping that spine in that nice neutral position during your cardio workout can be really beneficial for you. That's why I don't really recommend that you use a bike, because traditional bikes have you rounding forward. Recumbent bike's a little bit different, but keep that in mind if you're looking for other cardio alternatives. See if you can find something that helps you keep your spine nice and tall and neutral, not in that forward flexed position. Let's do four more here with the arms. Good, last two. Nice. Now just take your feet out, give me a little side to side step tap. So getting into those inner and outer thighs a little bit more, just changing up the direction, but keeping those shoulders back and down, perfect posture throughout the whole workout. Good, so we're gonna work through the back of the legs with a little hamstring curl. So just get your legs curling in. You're gonna alternate one heel at a time, squeezing in to the back side of your body. Just turn so you can see it from the back. So just curl those heels in and really focus on the backs of the legs. I want you to feel that contraction. Think of it as like a bicep curl done by your legs, right? Good. So you're gonna keep the curl going and we're gonna get the arms pressing. So flex your hands right in front of your chest and as your heel goes in, your palms go out. A little bit of coordination, I know. Don't think about it too much. So again, keeping the posture tall, squeeze the heel in towards your glutes. That's it. Press, press. Good, now listen, you can hang right here or take it up just a little bit more by pressing your arms over your head. So when we get those arms over the head, heart rate climbs a little bit more. Just keep it going nice and strong, good. Abs are tight, tall, tall posture here. You're doing great, good. Press and press, that's it. Nice, keep it going and push. Let's do four and three and two and one. Just take your hands back, come back to your little taps in. Good, so let's move on. We're just gonna go into a little cross tap back. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen our skater movements where we get wide. Now, one thing we wanna watch if we're dealing with back issues on the skater is that you're not rounding forward, right? Because a lot of times we get low and we round the back. I want you to keep the back lifted and tall and just go wide with your feet. You can let your arms swing, 
side to side, but you're focusing on that nice, tall posture. Good, now depending on how you feel, you can keep this tap going or add just a little leap. But again, focus on keeping the posture tall and the chest lifted for me here. Tap or leap it, up to you. Just work those arms, keep that posture tall. Great job, let's keep going. So just a quick reminder, we have a whole walk-on series that has some really great exercises that are perfect. Also, if you're dealing with back issues, it can be a great way to get in cardio workout without straining your back. So check it out for me. I'll put the links below. They're available on amazon.com. Something you might wanna look into if you're looking for more options for cardio. God, let's walk. Woo, catch your breath. I got my heart rate up, how about you, yeah? Let's see if we can start to use our step. So remember, if you don't have a step, you're just gonna pretend, imagine a little box on the floor, and you're just gonna tap the floor. If you are near a step, we're gonna start with a little toe tap. Again, posture is tall, just a light tap with the foot. Keep the back upright, and let's just start to swing our opposite arm overhead. Here's your modification without a step on the floor. Good, that's it. So you're gonna swing your opposite arm up by your ear as you tap. Good, and you set the speed here. Feel free to go at a slower pace than mine or a faster pace than mine, depending on how this feels. We don't have to match the beat of the music either. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take it back to a walk. So now we're just gonna do a basic step up and step down. I'm gonna show you off the step first. So you're gonna go forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back on the floor. Or up, up, down, down, on and off your step. Now, if you're using a step, get your heels all the way on top of it, okay? I don't want you to hang off the edge because that's when that step starts to get unstable and it can tip over on you. Now, you don't have to be looking at me. You can look right at your step to stay safe, okay? So just keep following at your own speed, at your own pace. You're doing great. Remember your modification without the step. If you don't have one, you're stepping forward, forward, back, back. Two more here. Good, let's walk and hold. Just breathe. Nice, so now we're gonna do a little in, in, out, out with the feet. So if you're on the floor, I'll show it to you first here. So you're gonna step your feet out, out, in, in. Basic out, out, in, in. Peanut is showing the modification. Line plank option. <laughs> Don't follow her. So out, out, in, in, or on your step. Out, out, in, in. Good. So just that little extra height here can intensify the workout without having to add impact. But again, make sure you're not starting to lean forward. This is when we start to feel the back. Keep it lifted. Couple more. You can hear my voice, this is working. Two more, please. Good. And let's step back, walk and hold. Great job, okay. So now we're gonna do an alternating step knee. Again, primary focus, posture, posture. I'm saying it over and over to help you remember. So without your step, you're gonna step forward, lift, step back. So it's just step, knee, step, back, switching feet, or up and down. So if you have any knee issues too, just watch this one. If it starts to bother your knee with the step up, do it on the floor. Good, tall posture. Let your arms just do whatever feels comfortable for you. Again, slower tempo, absolutely fine. Make it work for you. Fall back. Woo! Couple more. Nice. So if you wanted to keep going, 
You could start this video over from the beginning and repeat it maybe two or three more times around. Or check out those walk-on DVDs. We can keep walking for a full 30 minutes at a time. Last two, one more. Walk and hold, catch your breath. Great job, so let's slow down the heart rate. Slowing the feet. Great job, so we're just gonna do a few quick stretches for the back to wind down. So steady your feet, take your hands at the hips and extend back. So just a slight standing extension and come up. So see what feels right for you. Go as far back as feels comfortable to you. And let's see, you want your, the heels of your hands kind of right at the hip bones, the back of the hip bones. And just one more here, extend back. Great. You can try to do those standing extensions before, after workout that may also really help alleviate some of your back pain. So let's just walk and talk real quick. So we're gonna warm things up while we set up. You wanna make sure you have a sturdy chair and perhaps a set of light dumbbells. Now I'm working with three pounds. You can have whatever you have available on hand. If you don't have dumbbells, you can also just use your body weight, okay? So don't worry. So we're walking it out just to get the blood flowing. Abs are in tight, shoulders are back and down, nice tall posture. Now all I want you to do is take your hands to your hips and just give me a nice high march with the knee. Just alternate lifting it up. Peanut, are you gonna show off your legs now? <laughs> she joins us for our workouts all the time here on Jessica Smith TV. We know you at home are working with pets and kids too. We just make it work, right? So just a nice high knee march. We're gonna slow this down in a second and make it a knee circle to open up the hips. Looks like this. Go out and around. So just go as wide as you can with the knee. See where your hips will allow you to go with it. Just starting to loosen up through the joints a little bit building our range of motion. Give me four more, two more. Good, last one. Now from here, while you just soften both knees, keep your abs in tight, you're gonna take your right leg out to the side. Now you can point your toe lightly on the floor for balance, or you can make it more challenging by flexing your foot and just floating that leg. We're gonna bring the knees together, squeezing the inner thighs, cross the leg over, open out, over, open out. So you're keeping your balance. Standing leg is working too. In and out, squeeze the knees open. Good, leg doesn't have to be high. We wanna keep it just kind of hovering above the floor. You point that toe down anytime you need it. Good, just give me four more here. Last two, one more. Great job, let's switch legs. So same thing on the other side, point the toe or flex. Bring it in, take it out. So we're gonna be working not only this moving leg, but our standing leg, getting down into those muscles within the ankle and the feet as well. They're part of our lower body, right? Good, strengthen, whoa, lost my balance there, it happens. Tap down when you need it. Good, just a few more. Last two, great job, good, okay. So we're gonna keep building into the workout gradually, but we're gonna start off by working the quadriceps muscles or the front of your thighs. Now, a lot of times we get those with squats and lunges, but if you have knee issues, those can be a little bit tough to do. So what I want you to do is just kind of hold on to the back of your chair, soften your standing leg, flex your foot right out in front of you, tap your heel light on the floor. Now all you're gonna do is contract those thigh muscles and lift the leg up and down. Now you're gonna get a little stretch here through the hamstring. What I don't want you to do is lift so high that you start to round your back, okay? So keep the back tall and just lift with the top of the thigh. Lightly tap your heel at the bottom. Good, we're just gonna do a couple more and then we're gonna see if we can hold that leg up. So your range of motion may be different than mine. Take this one up and just hold it. Draw the abs in, hold and strong. 
So it's a nice strong static contraction through the top of that thigh. You're also working into the hip flexor. Hold it four more counts, three more counts to release it. Good, okay, switch legs. You gotta do the other side. So soft standing knee, flex your toes so you're also engaging the shins. And go ahead and lift and lower. So again, don't let the leg lift affect your posture. So that's how you're gonna know when you've reached the height of your leg. If you start to round, it's too high. Really flex the toes back, contract through the top of the thigh. Good, draw your abs in, keep working the posture. We're gonna get a nice added bonus today. We're gonna be working all those core muscles around your waistline in addition to your lower body. Two for one special today. Couple more. Good, let's take it up and hold it. Here we go, lift it as high as you can. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep holding that leg. Good, a few more counts. Four, three, two, nice. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna do a deadlift next to hit your hamstrings and your glutes. So if you have weights and you wanna use them, you can pick them up or you're just gonna reach your hands towards the floor. We're gonna start in the split stance. We wanna put 80% of our weight in our front leg. Back foot is light, heel is lifted. So we're gonna hinge forward at the hips, keeping the back nice and flat. So we wanna come down for two counts, look at the floor, up for two counts. So feeling this moving through the heel, up through the hamstrings, and into the glutes. Just drop your chin to your chest, let your eyes gaze at the floor here. Good, very light on that back toe. Concentrate on that front leg. So the most important piece of this movement is actually what's happening with your spine. So make sure you're keeping that spine naturally straight, which means you're gonna maintain that slight lower lumbar curve in your low back. So when you hinge forward, almost feel like you're sticking out your rear in your chest here. We don't wanna round forward like we're reaching for our toes. We're not trying to touch the toe. We wanna keep the back flat as a tabletop. We have four more, then we're gonna switch legs. Four, pull up with that flat back, good. Three, and lift, give me two more. Nice, last one. Beautiful, let's just go ahead and turn it around. Switch the leg that's in front. Light on that back toe, check your posture. Abs in tight, here we go, down for two. Lift for two, good. So you don't have to do squats and lunges to work that lower body effectively. Sometimes you just have to get creative with it. Lots of different options for you though to choose from to target those lower body muscles. This is one of my favorite exercises. So much going on with it. It's not just about that lower body. We're also working all those posture muscles that line our spine. The abs are kicking in. Good. We might as well get a lot done with one exercise, right? Keep going. Stay with me, don't let your back round, especially if it's starting to get tired. You're feeling the back muscles working, but maintain that nice tall posture. Four more. Squeeze. Three, really nice. Let's do two more to finish. And one more here. Great job, okay, so we're gonna move on. You can go ahead and just set your weights to the side for a sec. We're gonna move in to a side kick drill. So you're gonna use the back of your chair for balance, turn your bottom heel forward, bend your standing knee, tighten up the, the abs, bring your hand to your hip, and bend your knee up in front of your chest. So we're gonna flex the foot, we're gonna extend the leg and try to line it up with our hip. Let's do it slow to start. So we're gonna push out for two, in for two. Push out through your heel. Don't lock your knee at the bottom. Out, in, one more slow, then we're gonna take it a little bit faster. Let's try a single tempo, here we go. Out and in, out and in, good. Really isolating through the hips and the glutes. Push out through that heel, excellent. Give me eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, Six, five, feeling it start to burn a bit. Four, three, now listen, we're gonna hold it. Take it out there, hold it and pulse it up. 
up, lift. Good, we're starting to feel the obliques a little bit too. Keep on squeezing, four, three, two, excellent. Okay, let's take it around to the other side. Excuse me, peanut. So we're gonna set it up with the other leg. Remember, bottom heel is forward, bend your knee, take your knee to your chest, press out for four, slow reps. So this is where you can make some adjustments. You can change your angle. Make sure the leg is lining up with your hip. Press it out. Let's go a little bit quicker. Here we go. Out and in, out and in. And don't worry about how high your leg is here. Focus on the push out through the hips and glutes. Good. Excellent. We have eight more. Let's do it. Eight. Seven, press that heel out strong. Six, five, you look great. Give me four more, three more, two, last one, in and out. Take it out there, hold, pulse, pulse. Really lift, come on, squeeze, you're almost done. Good, stay strong. Four, three, two, you did it. Okay, let's work more of the backside again. Turn your chair around so the seat is facing you and grab one of your dumbbells. This is optional if you wanna use the weight. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bend both knees, placing the hands firmly on the chair. You're gonna tuck one dumbbell behind your front leg. So I'm gonna start with both knees bent. And I'm gonna lift that bent knee, hold that dumbbell tight so you can hold on to it. You're gonna lift it up behind your hip, bring it back in. Up behind your hip, really flex that back heel. Two more slow to make sure we got it. Soft elbows, just to support your, your upper body here with those arms. Single tempo, up and down. Don't arch your back. Keep your abs in tight. Squeeze your knees back together so you get the inner thighs too. Press up through that back heel. Good. You got it. Come on, press strong. Eight more here. Seven. Six, don't collapse into your upper body. Five, keep the arms strong. Four, three, two, one more. Take it up there, hold. Now pulse, lift, lift, lift. Just go a little bit higher, inches at a time. Feeling the standing leg working too. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice job, now carefully release that dumbbell. We're gonna take it around to the other side. Good, so that standing leg is kind of almost holding a static squat, which can be a little easier on your knees, but still engages all those great muscles in the lower body. So grab a hold of the weight, make sure you got a firm grip on it before we start lifting the leg. Taking it up slowly first. So again, make your adjustments here. Press up through your heel, push. Good, give me one more slow. Lift. Don't let the low back arch. Here we go, single counts. Up and in, up and in. Strong arms. Press up, work those hamstrings and glutes. Good. Come on, eight more, finish it. Eight, seven, six, five, you look so good. Four, three, give me two more. Now take it up there and just hold it. Let's go for those pulses. Lift, lift, small range of motion, lots of work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, fantastic. Carefully release your dumbbell. Woo, okay, feeling that backside. We're gonna come on down to the floor for our last exercise. So carefully lower yourself down and you're gonna bring your heels up onto the seat of your chair. Bring your hips in close enough that your legs are making about a 90 degree angle. Knees are over our hips here. Press your shoulders down, arms by your sides. We're gonna dig the heels into the chair, bridge up, tap down to the floor. Exhale, dig. Inhale, lower. So really flex those toes. Imagine you have spurs on the backs of your sneakers. Press down strong to lift up high and lower, good. Press down and lower. Give me two more like this. Push and down, one more. 
Now you can choose to keep both of your feet on the chair or we can do one leg at a time. We're gonna go a little bit faster. One leg is lifted, here we go. Up, tap down, up, tap down. Drive the heel up, good. Press those arms into the floor. Nice. Give me eight more on this side. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, really lift up high. Two more, then we're just gonna switch legs. Are you ready? Change legs. Here we go. Up, tap down. Up, tap it down. Good. So we're doing high reps here because we're not using anything but our body weight to really dig into those hamstrings and glutes. Got a little bit of the lower back too. Almost there. Lift. Good. Five, four, three, give me two more. Last one. Now place both feet down. Let's squeeze those glutes. Lift the hips and just give me a tiny little pulse. Focusing more on the contraction of the glutes at the top of that press. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Hamstrings are still firing, but focus on your gluteal muscles. Give me eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now slowly roll your lower back to the floor gently. Bring your knees into your chest. Roll over onto your side. Come to seated. <sighs> How you feel? Good, let's take a quick little stretch. Just cross one leg in front of the other. You can lean forward onto your chair or you can walk your hands to the ground. So just take some deep breaths. So depending on how you feel, if you wanna continue on, you could go back to the beginning and repeat that circuit twice more for a total of three times, maybe one more time, switch the other leg that's in front. It's really totally up to you. If once was enough, you're good to go with that lower body. Thanks so much for training with me today. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like and share your favorite videos, and be sure to check out all of our related videos below. If you wanna keep working out with me, click on the link for our playlist or on the link that'll appear on your screen if you're watching via computer. Thanks so much for sweating with me today again, guys. I look forward to working out with you again soon.